Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi and in today's video I thought I'd do something very different as you can tell by the title. So recently I've been doing lots and lots of vlogs for you guys but I thought I'd just do a chill sit down vid and talk with you guys and do something really different that I haven't already done different and haven't really done. What am I even on about? Basically I wanted to do something fun and jokes side of this is I don't actually even know what this challenge is because it said 50 questions you've never been asked and so I didn't want to read it so that I wouldn't have thought of my answers to the questions already. So I just thought why not do this and I hope that you guys enjoy it. If you want me to do fun random videos like this give it a thumbs up and leave me suggestions down below. I am going to film a revision video but it's a bit hard for me right now because I am revising so everything's a bit all over the place like my notes some of them. So I think it's better for me to do that retrospectively after my own exams. So I hope that I don't disappoint you guys but hopefully it'll be useful for next year for some of you and some of you who aren't even doing exams you won't even care. So anyway, let me get started with this tag. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I do vlogs, I film my life, I talk about med school. I basically film everything. So yeah, come along for the ride. So, starting with question number one. <laughs> What's your favorite candle scent? Oh, I don't know. I don't buy scented candles. I get like gifted scented candles. Anything floral, roses? Rose, that'll be good to candle scent. What female celebrity do you wish was your sister? Ugh, Kim Kardashian, I'd love her whole wardrobe. Uh, what male celebrity do you wish was your brother? Okay, that's difficult because like, you know, if, I, if you said which celebrity would I date, I'd be able to give you a list instantly. But brother, hmm, who do I want in the friend zone? Who would it be fun to be friends with, to hang out with, male celebrity? I'd pick any guy off the Iranian football team um, because then he's friends with the rest of the Iranian football team and they're all very handsome. How old do you think you'll be when you get married? Um, probably late 20s uh, is what I think, but you don't really know like what the plans are in life. But yeah, like late 20s. I'm 23 now, so I don't see it happening like this year or next year kind of thing. Um, do you know a hoarder? Hmm. My sister Sina used to be a big hoarder and I used to just go through her closet and throw things out and like I'd be like, you need to organize your whole closet. Sina, what is this? You've got so much rubbish. And then she'd get really annoyed with me because I'd throw out her whole closet. So she's fixed up now, but she used to be a hoarder for sure. <laughs> Next question, can you do a split? Um, no, let's try this. I'm wearing, I'm wearing gym shorts, so. Okay, this is where I get stuck, so, you know, maybe I'll practice and try and get better at this, but for now, no, I can't do the splits. <laughs> Question seven. How old were you when you learned how to ride a bike? I think I was like eight or nine and I became obsessed. Fun fact, I have a scar on my leg here um, from when I fell off my bike uh, when I was like 10. I was in year five when I fell off and split my leg open and I had to get like eight stitches. How many oceans have you swam in? Oh, this question hits a nerve because I have probably, it is the most popular video on my channel is my Tehran vlog. And uh, I po point towards like out towards the water and I'm like, this is the ocean. And then everyone's like, ugh, you're so stupid. That's the sea. You're so this, it's my figure of speech for saying there is the water. Like I'm not gonna be sitting there thinking, is this a sea, is this an ocean? Do I really care? No, like at that moment in time, I'm not really bothered about calling this the correct thing. It could be a river for all I care. It's what I was showing you was the fact that there was water there. So how many oceans have I swam in? Realistically, I don't know. I can't tell you guys, I can't count how many oceans I've swam in. My favorite ocean I have swam in is the one off the coast of Langkawi. So if any of you guys know which ocean that is, feel free to leave it down in the comments. Question nine, how many countries have you been to? Nowhere near as many as I want to go to. Um, when I was younger, I only used to go to Iran on holiday. Um, I'd say I've been somewhere between 20 and 30 countries. Um, and not that it's on here, but my favorite country that I've been to so far, oh, that's difficult, I won't be able to give a favorite country. My favorite country that I went to last year was Malaysia, for sure. Yeah, Malaysia. Okay, um, is anyone in your family in the army? 
No, no one in my family is in the army. What would you name your daughter if you had one? Maybe name her after my mum. My mum has a beautiful name, Marzia, so I think that would be a nice name to give. What would you name your son if you had one? Again, my dad's name is Farshad and I'd love to incorporate that into my son's name in some way. What's the worst grade you've got on a test? I got an E in a chemistry exam once, but hey, still got an A overall in, in uh, a level chemistry, A star, and GCSE chemistry. So don't let one grade define you, kids. Um, what was your favorite TV show when you were a child? So when I was 11 till the current day, my favorite TV show is Gossip Girl. I am actually obsessed. Like everyone in my family complains at how much I watch this, the fact that I can recite the lines. Um, when I was a kid, kid, I loved uh, Scooby Doo, CBeebies, watching any of the shows on, on there. Hey Arthur was so good. I used to watch EastEnders, okay? I don't know what my parents, like, my parents would watch Iranian Satellite, so they wouldn't care what I was watching, but I used to watch EastEnders. So if any of you guys are from England, EastEnders is our, like, daytime soap opera. No, nighttime soap opera. What did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight? I think I was a witch. I was a witch all the way up until I was old enough to do more fancy dress outfits. <laughs> Question 16. Have you read any of the Harry Potter, Hunger Games or Twilight series? I read the whole Twilight series in under two weeks before any of the films came out. I was obsessed. I would get mad at myself for falling asleep because I was like, I want to know what happens next. Harry Potter kind of cheated because obviously I was young when all the films were released. So I watched all the movies and I read the first four or five books. But how, my ideal date ever future boyfriend if you're watching this I really want to go to Harry Potter world um, like there's one here in England in London and I also really want to go and see Harry Potter in theatre dream date uh, question 17 would you rather have an American accent or a British accent I like my accent so I don't have anything against an American accent but I like having a British accent uh, question 18 did your mother go to college yes she did are your grandparents still married? Question 19. I only have one grandparent who's alive, my mum and John, um, and neither of my grandparents got divorced, so I guess technically they're all still married. Uh, 20. Have you ever taken karate lessons? No. 21. Do you know who Kermit the Frog is? I can't lie, I've like seen what Kermit, like who Kermit the Frog is, but I don't know what show he's from or from where he's from. 22. What's the first amusement, amusement park you've been to? Fort Park, and I went on this crazy ride called Stealth, and I thought I was going to die. Genuinely thought I was going to die. I'm a bit better with rides now though. 23. What languages beside your native language would you like to be fluent in? Ugh, I say this on a daily to my friends. I would love to speak French and Arabic. Ugh. Arabic probably more than, I don't know. Yeah, I probably want to speak Arabic more than I want to speak French, but I really, really want to speak French and Arabic. I can currently speak only English and Farsi. And I'm trying to get my Arab friends to teach me Arabic. Like three of my best friends are Arabic. Shout out to April Mo and Hussein. Um, so, you know, why have you guys not taught me Arabic yet? It's a disgrace. Um, question 24. Do you spell the color as G-R-E-Y gray or G-R-A-Y gray? I spell it with an E. Question 25, is your father bald? No, touch wood. My father is not bald. Question 26, do you know triplets? Yes, I actually do know triplo triplets. Blah, blah, blah. Um, and one of them, I did her makeup for her wedding, how cool. Question 27, do you prefer Titanic or The Notebook? I fell asleep watching The Notebook when I was younger and never watched it again. I know I've probably like broken the hearts of so many people saying this right now. So by default, I prefer Titanic, but Titanic makes me cry, so yeah, it's good. Question 28, have you ever had Indian food? How can you not have had Indian food? Like Indian food is one of the best foods ever. I love Indian food. Um, should I name you guys my favourite Indian restaurant or should I save that for something else? Krishna is probably my favourite Indian restaurant, it's really good. Question 29. What's the name of your favourite restaurant? Sea London aka Cipriani is my favourite restaurant and they have them all around the world in like different cities. So maybe there's one in your city, check it out, it's really really good Italian food. Question 30. Have you ever been to Olive Garden? No I haven't been to Olive Garden, I believe it's an American restaurant. 
Question 31, do you belong to any warehouse stores like Costco or BJ's? My mum belongs to Costco, but like there's only three of us at home at any one time and maximum five of us, so I don't see the point. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? My parents didn't even have a name for me until I was a week old and then even then their friend came in and was like, oh, have you thought of a name for her? And they're like, no, we want something that begins with S because her sisters are Solmas and Zaina and her surname is Samai, so we want something that begins with S. And then my parents' friend was like, oh, my daughter's called Sepida, why don't you call her Sepida? And they were like, yeah, sounds nice. So that's how I have the name Sepida. I mean, it was a bit more cute than that, but yeah, they... They barely had my name, let alone a name for the opposite gender. Question 33, if you have a nickname, what is it? Seppi is my nickname. It's short for Seppi Dare. Um, my sister Sina calls me Giuseppe, um, but not like Giuseppe, like the Italian name Giuseppe, like as in literally G, Giuseppe. Um, and I get called Seps, and pretty much everyone under the sun these days calls me Persian Bunny, especially boys. Why do boys think it's like funny to call me Persian Bunny? Like it's like, you know, like, I don't know why, like, they don't even say, like, Persian Bunny, like, the YouTube name thing. They say, like, alright, Persian Bunny. I don't know. I just think it's funny. 34. Who's your favourite person in the world? I would have to say my favourite person in the world is my mum. Um, my dad is definitely up there very, very, very close, but I spend more time with my mum than I do my dad, just because my mum's around me a lot more. So I guess that's why she would take over from my dad, even though he's also my favorite person in the world. Um, but yeah, I love her so much, and you guys love her so much, so I think you understand why she is my favorite person in the world. 35, would you rather live in a rural area or in the suburbs? Definitely the suburbs. I get bored so quick, like, easily. Like, I go out a lot, I eat out a lot, I hang out with my friends, we go different places, so I need to be in an area where there's stuff to do. 36, can you whistle? <whistles> yeah. <laughs> 37, do you sleep with a nightlight? No, I don't, but I was so scared of sleeping in the dark or even in my own room alone until I was 11. I don't know why I was so scared. 38, do you eat breakfast every morning? Uh, not anymore these days. I used to eat breakfast all the time, but now I kind of skip it. Either I don't have time or I just feel like it's better to eat less meals and like start eating later, but like an intermittent fast. 39, do you take any pills or medication daily? Antihistamine for my hay fever, but I don't take that all the time. Uh, yeah, like as in only in summer. Question 40, what medical conditions do you have? What kind of questionnaire is this? I have asthma, eczema, well the eczema is kind of gone, but yeah, I do have dry skin. And I have hay fever. And I have something weird called oral allergy syndrome, which means I'm allergic to some fruits. So if any of you guys want to know what it is, you can Google it. 41, how many times have you been to the hospital? Every day, because I study medicine. Question 42, have you ever seen Finding Nemo? Of course, I saw it in cinemas, it was my obsession. I love Dory, for sure, like she is such a babe. So of course, Finding Nemo was like my like age kind of thing, like it came out when I was a kid. As did Toy Story, but I loved Finding Nemo more. 43, where do you buy your jeans from? So I used to love Topshop denim, but now I love Zara denim. 44, what's the last compliment you got? Uh, one of my friends this morning said, seeing you made my whole day. So I guess that's the last compliment I got. 45, do you usually remember your dreams in the morning? Yes, I work really hard on memorizing my dreams. I feel like my dreams are a symbol of what's gonna happen in my life or what I've been concerned about in my life. So I work really hard on remembering them. And I once read um, this somewhere in like an article that when you wake up in the morning, one of the first things you should do is try and recite like your dreams and go through what happened in them. Because I can't remember what the reasoning was behind it now, I've forgotten, but it was more to do with like strengthening your memory, um, helping you be critical and it, again like I said it helps reflect what issues you're having in your life and how you can deal with it. Question 46, what flavour tea do you enjoy? Jasmine tea is my favourite as is my dad's favourite. Question 47, how many pairs of shoes do you currently own? Ooh, I'd say excess of 30 but under 40 shoes. 48, what religion will you raise your children to practice? My religion. 
Um, but as I don't disclose my religion on the channel, unfortunately, because I get backlash no matter what I say, um, because people won't be happy with how I practice it, so I'm not gonna tell you guys my religion, I'm sorry. Question 49, how old were you when you found out that Santa wasn't real? I'm so sorry if you are young and you watch this and you think Santa is real. Basically, I was never raised to think Santa was real. And then one year, I have no idea why, I think I watched one of these Christmas movies and I was like nine or 10. And I really was like to my sister as well, I was like, so Santa's real. And she's like, yeah, of course he's real. And I was like, no, 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 like he's fully real. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think back at it. She must have thought I was such a loony because I was so like one of those kids who was always on point, nothing could fool me, blah blah. But I was so convinced Santa was real that year. So it was only one year when I was 10, and then afterwards I was like, uh, what were you thinking? So the final question is question 50 Why do you have a YouTube? I made a YouTube because I really wanted to just be creative and share whatever I felt like sharing, like my life, my views, my makeup, my hair, whatever, like I just wanted to be creative with it and it, it, it's such a therapy for me. I think it's so fun to make videos, to talk to people from all over the world, to meet you guys on a night out. When I go out, I meet so many people. Um, when I'm shopping, when I'm out with my friends at dinner, like drinks, whatever, I always bump into you guys. And I think it's so amazing that we can relate on so many levels. I'll get DMs so many times a day being like, oh my god, our families are so alike, or I go through this as well, I go through that as well. And it's like, yay, like someone gets me. So I think that's, I don't know, just really special. Um, and that's why I made this YouTube channel, and I think that's why I get to connect with you guys so well because I'm here for you guys to be able to share with you guys all of you and it makes me so happy that I can so that is the end of this video I hope you liked it I hope that you liked the kind of random change to what I've been filming recently if you did then like I said give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me down below don't forget to check out my socials they're always linked down below my Instagram is Persian Bunny and my snap is Seppi Samai my sisters have also made YouTube videos recently thanks to my peer pressure uh, so many of you guys love them so I always tell them you know why don't you just make a channel so that people who enjoy learning about your life can go straight to your platform so make sure you check them out I'll have them across the screen right now sign this channel is Persian honey and Sol's channel is Sol Sammy so if you type either of these into YouTube they will come up I love you guys all so 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 much and I'll see you in my next video bye